All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, poop, with my March 2015 update video for, you guessed it, March 2015. Woo. So yeah, it's uh, March, which is also my nine-year anniversary on YouTube. Can you guys believe it? March 1st, 2006 is when I signed up for this account, so I'm really excited. And I'm actually thinking about doing a uh, something really special for my 10-year anniversary. Uh, maybe do like a kind of a documentary or like 10 years of YouTube, some kind of dealio. I'm not quite sure yet, but just a little idea that's been bobbed around the old nog nog. So yeah, I've um, got my updates and stuff on the side as usual. So uh, I'll read through the list, I'll go through some youtube -y stuff as well as some personal life stuff. But first, some too high. All right. So yeah, nine years. Crazy. <laughs> uh, but, unfortunately for this month, due to my work schedule, not a lot's going to be uh, released. So I won't really start to be uh, releasing videos regularly until uh, April of 2015. So, um, lots of stuff I've recorded so far. Um, two main things. Um, I've recorded my trip to Sasebo Steak Salon. Now I only recorded like a couple little like 30-45 second clips of it, uh, but I'm gonna do some voiceover and kind of explain what it is. It's basically like a really awesome steakhouse in uh, Sasebo, Japan. So lots of good stuff there. Um, if you're ever in the area, definitely check it out for sure. It's expensive, but worth it. Anywho, uh, next on the list is uh, a real big one. Uh, that I get to check off the old bucket list, and that's my trip to uh, both Miyajima and Hiroshima. So I'm really, uh, really glad I took the trip out there. Uh, Miyajima is basically like a little island. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, it's basically like uh, if you look, Google like images of Japan, you'll s oftentimes see like a, a red uh, Tori gate out in the middle of the ocean. That's Miyajima. <laughs> So that's the main thing they got out there, and they got like a little temple and stuff like that, and stuff like that. So I recorded a lot of stuff on my GoPro. Um, definitely looking forward to releasing that very soon. Um, might have to wait till next month. Not sure. So there's that. And uh, also, I was really excited for my trip to Hiroshima as well. It's definitely uh, bucket list material, especially considering you know. It was one of the main uh, targets for uh, the atomic bomb, along with uh, Nagasaki as well. So, but that aside, you know, I went to the memorials, went to the Peace Park, um, really had a good time out there, even though it was very somber, and I felt kind of awkward, especially being an American there. Little, little bouts of awkwardness aside, it was a very, very beautiful place, and it was very, uh, very serene. So, I think you guys will like it too. So, um, definitely, I don't know, made me feel at peace. So, good place. Good place. Um, next on the list, of course, is all my, uh, my main side projects, uh, video series and stuff that I wanted to work on, which are currently in progress because work schedule. So, these series include YouTube 101 and Facts. Uh, proper intro outro channel trailer first impact anime stuff like that so I had to put them on hold because of the work schedule it is what it is uh, next up is my blog which also has to get put on the back burner um, probably not gonna work on that for another couple months just because um, timing and stuff like that which I'll get to later um, but I do want to update it want to make it current and uh, just kind of spice up the looks of it because that it, it's in need of a good updating <laughs> if you if you know what I mean so um, but I think once I get everything up and going uh, my plan for my blog is to basically have it be more of like a companion piece to my videos so my videos are gonna be my main content my blog is also gonna have the video plus like uh, extra text and stuff like that so if you guys either don't want to watch the video can't watch the video Whatever the case may be, you have uh, a lengthier description and stuff like that. So, it's that. Uh, next up, collabs. You know, still down. 
but I probably won't be able to actually do anything until April 2015, so there's that. Um, but the new and exciting news, like five minutes in this video, <laughs> is uh, a new project I'm going to be starting up uh, once I start getting uh, some free time is my new Let's Play series, and I'm really excited about this, and i um, been doing a lot of brainstorming, a lot of planning, a lot of, you know, looking for new gear to uh, kickstart this thing and get it going. So, um, really excited about it, um, but the thing I've been looking for is a name, and you know, <laughs> since YouTube's been around for over 10 years now, there's not a lot of uh, interesting names uh, that are out there anymore, so I have to be a little more creative in coming up with a new name for my Let's Play series of videos, because I also want to make like a, a separate channel for it as well, just in case, you know, I really like what I do, and want to continue on with it, and stuff like that, so, there's that. So, um, if you guys have any name ideas, you know, you can feel free to put them in the comments below, in the boopity boop, or uh, send, them, send them in a personal message if you like. But as far as uh, games and stuff I'm going to be reviewing, I'm just going to start off with uh, a lot of games that I grew up playing. You know, stuff from like the NES, Super NES, uh, N64, that kind of era of games. Uh, I might get like PlayStation and stuff like that later, maybe some Steam games. But just to start off with, we'll just start off with games I grew up with, just to kind of get things going. So, um, before we get into personal stuff, I do want to talk about my other uh, social media outlets. Um, if you guys go to, to uh, my main YouTube page, uh, and you look at the little bar up above, uh, you'll notice that there's some links. And the uh, first link is to my Facebook page, which is YouTube, or not YouTube, but Facebook.com slash official, And that's just basically like a Facebook fan page, so you guys can get in touch with me, get updates, things like that. And then there's also my Patreon page, which uh, if you guys like what I do, want to donate some money or whatever, you know, I can feel free. I'm not going to sit around and, you know, e-bag or, you know, e-pan handle or whatever you guys call it. Um, I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But, you know, I have that up there just in case, you know, you guys want to show your appreciation for what I do and things like that. Um, I'll have to tweak it up a little bit so I can get uh, proper rewards and stuff like that. I just got some basic stuff up there right now. So there's that. Um, next up is my Instagram account, which is Instagram.com slash the Uh Probably my second most uh, used uh, social media. You know, Facebook is its own thing, and then there's YouTube, and then Instagram. So <laughs> yeah, I uh, really love the Instagram and uh, stuff like that. And of course, I have Twitter, so, um, yeah. So, you know, in case you're wondering, you know, what's up with the, you know, video up update schedules and things like that, uh, there's those things. <laughs> so, anyway, moving on to personal updates. Um, remember when I said that this was going to be my last year in Japan? Well, oh, I'm sorry. It's actually been expedited a little bit. This has actually been my last couple of months in Japan. So, the big news. I'm going to lay down you this video like nine minutes in. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I got orders to uh, shore duty out in uh, Whidbey Island, Washington, the state. So, I'm um, sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. Uh, still getting over or something. But, uh, yeah. Um... Really excited to be going out to Washington. Um, the orders just kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't really expecting to uh, get orders. I didn't really apply for orders. It just kind of happened. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so my original plan was to just kind of write out the rest of my enlistment on my current ship and then just go to college and go from there. But uh, with these new orders, uh, they're three year orders out to shore duty. So instead of getting out in 2016, I'll be getting out in 2018. So, um, a lot of my college plans and stuff like that are just kind of getting, you know, pushed back just two years. So, I'll be doing the same stuff just two years further down the line. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to be recording as much as I can while I'm here in Japan, as well as, you know, other ports and stuff that'll hit, you know, before then, and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, let me know what you guys want to see before I 
before I go. Now keep in mind, uh, due the, to the uh, compressed uh, time scale or timeline or the amount of time I have left in Japan, I should say, um, probably I may or may not be able to accommodate, but if it's in the local like Kanagawa area or maybe Tokyo or something like that, I could do my best to uh, accommodate. So. Um, speaking of which, uh, YouTube Hanami for 2015 is going to be coming up next month, April. <laughs> really excited about that one. It's good to, uh, it's always good to meet up with fellow YouTubers, see how everybody's doing, stuff like that. And uh, I know I've said this in, in an earlier video, but I didn't really meet, you know, YouTubers, you know, until I came over to Japan. You know, because when I was back in the States and stuff, I was pretty much the only YouTuber that I knew. You know, everybody kind of knew me as the YouTube guy, you know, if anybody else I knew did YouTube videos, it was basically like a little one-off kind of deal, and, you know, they didn't do it on a frequent basis or anything like that. So, it was really nice to see um, other YouTubers, you know, that do it on a more frequent basis, and just kind of see how they do things and stuff like that. And it's also fun to see YouTubers that I frequently watch, you know, in real life, get to know them as people and stuff like that, so... That's always cool. Um, so I'm really excited to uh, meet some old faces for uh, last time for a while and uh, meet some new faces as well. And yes, if you guys are wondering, I am going to be bringing some Taco Bell. I know they're uh, starting up here in Japan, but uh, I'm going to be bringing as much Taco Bell as I possibly can. I'm going to try to get uh, transportation so I don't have to carry it all the way from you know the trains from Yokosuka out to y Yoyogi Park so it'll be warmer and I'll have more of it so really excited about that as well so yeah and uh, moving on to uh, post Navy life stuff um, like I said earlier you know all that stuff's gonna be pushed uh, two years down the line so instead of getting out in 2016 I'm getting out in 2018 go to college uh, that fall semester but uh, the main difference is now that I'm going to shore duty I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on uh, getting as much college done there as I can so that way when I do get out I can uh, try to get my graduate degree as opposed to just my undergrad so there's that so I'm really excited about that you know, taking a lot more college courses collecting courses things like that so um, next up on the list is a health update and <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell you know with the shirt on you know, I think I look pretty much the same with the shirt on but I do have to say my clothes do feel looser and I don't look or at least feel as bloated of course you know it's hard to tell in the shirt I probably look about the same but you know it is what it is so I am eating healthier you know despite the alcohol beverage you see here you know been for the most part eating healthier, exercising, you know, stuff like that, and I do feel better. So there's that. And uh, last little bit here before we go is uh, me getting back into video games. All thanks to these guys right here, the Game Grumps. We got Grump, Not So Grump, and the original Not So Grump. Cool stuff. Yeah, this just came in the mail, so I thought I'd show you guys. It says keep calm and grump on. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, their playthrough of uh, Fire Red, you know, really got me interested in playing Pokemon again, which in turn got me interested in playing video games again. So I was really excited about that, and uh, got a Nintendo 3DS, which I did an unboxing for a couple weeks ago. And uh, I've been playing uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Pokemon X for the past couple weeks. Um, I'm almost at the Elite Four for uh, Pokemon X, and I'm on Delta episode for Alpha Sapphire. That's where I'm at right now. So yeah, I've been doing pretty good, and it seems like the games are a bit easier now than they were back then. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm older and I kind of know better, or if they actually are easier. I don't know. But um, I do have a question for you guys. Uh, what else do you think I should play on the 3DS? Now I know, you know, there's a lot of people wanting me to play more console games or stuff on PC or Steam or whatever, but my main squeeze right now is the 3DS just because I can pretty much take it anywhere and stuff like that. So I'm um, sure to leave, you know, your thoughts and stuff in the comments below, the boopity boop. 
And who knows, it may even appear on an episode of my upcoming Let's Play channel, which is kind of my little attempt at getting me back into video games again, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but that's all for uh, this video. So yeah, this is the Anisan. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys boop, tuning into this video and my other stuff. Also gotta thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you boop, next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.